say something. I just want to stay in the shade. Yeah, I know I did him up okay. too. I'm trying to pause the TV. How you would have stuff in your hand and then it just be gone? This was is not that good. Oh, it's still got, this a long movie. It's still got 31 minutes to go. Hey, Miss Sadie. How you doing? Good evening, good afternoon. Yes, Miss Sadie. Hey everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Miss Laverne, Miss Renee, Black and Bipolar. Good afternoon. Hey, Cece. You was. <laughs> hey, living life in Florida. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Miss Mika. Hey, Miss Cooper. Girl, I've been missing me too, girl. Hey, Deep Freeze. Hey, Design by Newers. Tia just walked out my door too. Hey, Miss Scott. Thank you, Miss Scott. Hey, the true queen. Hey, Rosa. I'm trying to see if these glasses, because I got these glasses, but they ain't no good. I, I, I'd i rather be close up and read than try to play for, for, um, I got to pause my TV show. Ooh. Hey, Jackson. Jackson. I forgot he got um, Beyonce. Yes, it's on the back. I had to turn your music down because I'm on live. Thank you. Yes, because I had stuff I had. I, child, I had to get stuff together to, to really get make my mood possible. But before we be get stuff, I'm on live. You got to turn your music down. Yeah, and I ain't trying to get copyright. Thank you. All right, guys, before we get started, let's, like, thank God for waking us up, spending another day with our family and friends, because that long call thing with him, he did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Okay. Um, thank you, Miss Katrina. Me too, girl. It was, uh, who these last couple of weeks trying to get them. I'm not, you know what? No. We're not doing that. We about to head into a new year. The past was the past. Yesterday was yesterday. Things happened the way it happened. It worked itself out. No, not going to dwell on it. I'm focused on what is and what it is is today. That I woke up. God got me breathing. You know, Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow. But yesterday was yesterday. That's the past. So I, I, it was a hurdle that I overcame and now I'm here. So let's talk about what is. And what is is that we're right here doing on the couch. We're right here doing on the couch, y'all. And, um, oh, Tian just went live. That's crazy. <laughs> My girl Tian just went live. We're right here doing on the couch. Thank you, Ms. Berg. And I know it's been a minute. I think it's been three weeks. I think it's been three weeks here. Yeah. I think it's been three weeks, but we're back. And do I got nothing to talk about? No, because I've been on the internet. I've been doing this. I'm still unpacking. What's up, Bill? I still got stuff. I know we never did. Um, when Josh came out the bathroom, I had him get my folder. 
I know we never did block movie trivia. I literally had all the stuff written down. I actually had the movies written down that I was supposed to do, didn't end up doing them. So I made sure I saved them. So they already ready and written, wrote down. And then I know y'all want to do a Christmas trivia. Then I have to get that one together. But we're going to be back on track because the simple fact is, if I want to get this rent paid up in this camp, you know, um, if I want to get this rent paid up in this camp, it's time to post videos. It's time the 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 the, the um not making videos time is over. We got rent that need to get paid. So your girl have to post. I have no choice. I'm out here about to do this thing. Now, as far as like furniture, no. Cause literally right now I'm in my living room sitting on the floor on a mattress. But that's okay because it takes time. The main gift, the main thing that I wanted is do my whole transition is to, um, uh, you know, get some way to live. And, you know, God provided that. He helped me through it, you know, and everything. So right now, everything else is going to take time. Will there be a furniture house tool? I don't know because at the end of the day, it's going to take me some time to even furnish a house. Because, um, you know, it takes money and right now we're building on that so there will not be um yes and so there will not be a furnished house too because i don't know when the house will get furnished <laughs> but i'm here and and i'm grateful so i'm here and i'm grateful but um yes i've been looking at stuff that i that, that i want to get trying to see if possible to get even save up for but furniture just like everything else shit is expensive what's up taylor it, it, it is 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 it's expensive so i'm i'm good i got the kitchen i got a mattress i'm sitting on to sleep on is that something better than that? i'm good hey lucy I ain't want the old furniture. Because first of all, it was a leather. It was a leather sofa, two-piece sofa. And I had it like for six or seven years. And you know what leather, when people constantly sit on it, it wears out. And it was brown. So the seating in that was worn out. And you know, from you know, the leather was peeled up, it was worn out. And I just didn't want I didn't want it. I was like, I, I, I didn't want it. So I had threw it, I threw it away. So I didn't I didn't want it. So yeah. But I, yeah, that's true. And then that's why I said, too, I'm not getting no more leather. And that, that was my first time experience leather. I never bought leather furniture before. That was my first time having leather furniture. And for real, for real, who said it was real leather? I don't know. I'm going to say it was pleather, but that supposed to have been leather. But that was my first time experience leather furniture. Hey, low life. So, um... I don't think I wouldn't get that before because I didn't know that it peels like that or, or wear and tear constantly sitting that the, that it fades away. And, you know, you can see like the gray up and neat. what's up, Stacy? So, yeah, but um, it's going to take time to get things done. And, and you know, I'm glad you guys here for the ride. What, whatever, whenever I get something new, I will reveal it to you guys. Whatever piece or something I buy new for the apartment, I will most definitely share with you guys. Hey, Eli Green, what's up? The answer said, my mother had a white one. I did not do an Amazon list. No, I don't. I've been so focused and been so busy and everything. And I'm going to tell y'all one thing I did that I'm mad at myself. If I had known the way my apartments were set up, I wouldn't have got a, a patio. So, me thinking my uh, this because I when I found this property, I never been to this property before, and I remember where my sister lived, where my son lived. Me thinking the way patios were set up, like I was thinking that. Excuse me, you go into the building and you go you go straight down one flight. Boom, that's the patio. Everyone who live in Maryland, who I know have a patio apartment, this is the way their building is set up. As soon as you walk in, you go down four flights, boom, that's the first floor. Y'all know I got arthritis. Uh, it's in the video, Taylor. Right now, I'm sitting down on the floor, 
it's a rough ride to get get up. It's a video on 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 the um a empty apartment too. I do have that video up, and um, y'all, when I walk into my building, I go down three flights of steps. This is a five story. They build us on five stories. And the way they made, when you come in, you come in on the second floor. I was, I said, oh my goodness. I, you know, I found that out when I did the initial tour. When I got approved, I found that out when I came to look at the apartment. Yeah, I was like, but you know, like my son said, the steps could be good, good exercise and stuff like that. But honey, I got, I'm, I didn't want to do no three flights. I am on the ground floor, and that ground floor is lower level. So the ground floor, when you come into the building, it's the second floor. Then they got no elevator. Then they got two, two sets of steps that go down to the ground. And I'm like, I've been out the house twice. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This is this is a fat girl real life moment, true moment. You know, with the arthritis knees and being a, uh, you know, being you know who I am is 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 it's not working for me. It, it's not working for me. But I've been out the house twice, so yeah. But uh, I and I do have a but the way I have a patio that do wraps around to the front. But unfortunately, the way the patio made and the way it wrap around, it's a hill. So my son said, you can't go up that hill. Your ass going to come tumbling down. So it's so my only exit strategy is to go up and go out. But I take my time and I go up the three flights of steps. And then I cut, when I come back, I take my time coming down three flights of steps. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm blessed to have a home, you know, and I'm glad and, and I'm glad to be here. But if I had known what I had known, honey, your girl would have looked. I would have told them, "Do you have anything on the second floor?" I did not know when you come into the building that the second you walk straight into the second floor. Who makes stuff like this? But it is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful property, and I like the area that I'm in in Maryland. Yeah, and it will get easier, yes. And that's why I say, too, that's why I say I'm not giving up on And it will get easier. But one thing for sure, two things for certain, I know I will never use the patio route because of the hill. Yeah, that's why I said, too, that's why, y'all, I'm not even finished getting all my stuff. By my son's working and everything, and we doing things in between their days off and in the morning. Hey, Kay and Ray, how you doing? Yes, thank you. Um, I still have a whole lot of stuff that I have not gotten from my son's brand of house. What's up, Taylor? And I was just, and I was just telling Joshua now, because Brandon's like, if y'all don't come and get this stuff from my apartment, I still got stuff from Brandon's apartment that I have to get. But it's just in between everybody's schedule. And now this dumb car of mine is acting up and all this other stuff. I said, okay. But I told Brandon, we're going to get it. Hopefully, we're going to get it because I'm really trying to get settled and have everything packed away by Christmas. So I so you will get some more videos because um I still have more things that I have to pack away and put up and stuff like that and everything. But like I said, as I do things and as I get new things, I will most definitely share with you guys. And yes, I will do an Amazon wish list when we get off here because at, at another thing happened is that all of my dishes. I did say my dishes, but I had had my dishes in those yellow bin buckets, and I had it on Brandon's patio, and the bucket that was sitting on the top got ruined. Um, but the dishes, all my bakeware, all my bakeware is good, but my pots, my pans, my Dutch oven, all that stuff is gone because when Joshua went to go get it and they lifted it up, it was water and mildew. I said, how did that happen? And so basically, that's another reason why y'all really haven't gotten any cooking videos because I don't have no pans to cook in, y'all. I got to get my hands on the pans so I'm waiting to pay they come by I get some dishes. That's one reason why y'all haven't gotten any cooking videos because I don't have nothing to cook in. So all my pots, my pans, my Dutch oven, my irons, my my black, my two black iron skillets, all that stuff gone, ruined. Um, cause I Brandon patio, 
And I wasn't thinking when I, we stuck the stuff out there on his patio because two big, long, yellow, the yellow storage buckets, the, the, the people above them, they patio made out of wood. So they got lines. So, and it's, they had no topping. So when it rained, it's, it comes straight through. So it rained into my to my yellow bucket that was on the top. The yellow bucket that was on the bottom didn't get rain in it. And, and fortunately, that was all my bakeware. So I got all my bakeware. But Josh was like, Mom, you don't want this stuff. I said, why? He said, this stuff. He said, look at it. He showed me it had about this much water in the bucket. He said, look at it. He said, it's water. He said, it's new doing this thing. I said, just throw the whole bucket away. I said, that. he said, this the, he said, it's the bucket with all your cookware in it. I said, oh, my God. So that's why y'all haven't gotten a food video yet. And I got and I got cooked for Christmas. I'm like, oh my. I said, man, when it rain, it pours. But yeah, so that's one reason why y'all haven't gotten any really uh, that's why y'all got the cake video. Cause I could use my bakeware. I have my bakeware with me. Um, but other than that, that's all I've been doing, you know. Looking at these YouTubes, watching everybody doing Vlogmas and things like that. Someone asked me to go live for Christmas. Um, I'm really not doing Christmas this year because I feel like my Christmas was me finally settling in to my surroundings. So there's no Christmas decorations. There's no Christmas tree. I'm not doing It's none of that this year. But hopefully, Lord willing, next year I'll be ready up and, you know, going. But not that, not that I'm not getting my grandchildren. I'm getting my babies something for Christmas. It's just that I'm not doing no decorations, no trees and all that stuff. And um, they're they going to come and pick their presents up that I am going to get for them. But we ain't, we, we, not joke. we ain't doing that this year. And which is fine. Um, the cake was good. Like I said in the video, I never did a red velvet pound cake before. And all the different recipes that I did collect it so I could go ahead and um, make it my own. Thank you, Stacy. Is that I wish I had to opt out with the um, cocoa powder because I knew that I was like, one fourth cup of cocoa powder. I was like, that's a lot of cocoa powder. And like I said in the video, that's why when I did write the recipe down description, I went with two tablespoons because I do know that it's a pound cake uh, red velvet. So it's not going to be ideal to a regular red velvet cake when it comes to ingredients. But cocoa is very strong. And then when you're using um, vinegar to just enhance the chocolate flavor, in, in, in um, red velvet because that vinegar does some exercise and it, it enhanced the flavor of the chocolate and red velvet and it, it enhanced the coloring of the food coloring. So I, I, I said it was good. It was moist, but it, I tasted too much cocoa. That's why when I did the recipe, I told you guys two tablespoons versus one fourth. Um, so I will do it again. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, they the ones that, you know, there's no me separating from them. <laughs> well, you know, Brandon still got his own place. Michael and his wife live with their own place. You know, I got, it's, it, it's me, Joshua. Then what y'all get me for Christmas? Um, me, it's me, Joshua, Fufu, Andrew, and Jackson. And we making a go of it. And everything, so yeah. And everybody gone to work. Ain't nobody here but me and Jackson. Tia just left. Um, I really ain't got much going on. I really wanted to update you guys. Guys, if you do not have a TikTok or if you do have a TikTok, I am now on TikTok. I'll be going live on TikTok. I did my first live on TikTok. I've been fine tech destroyed. That's not coming anywhere here or there, uh, Miss Philly. Uh, I'm going to tell you about... Um, Merch. I'm not a good merch seller. I am not a good merch seller at all. But the thing that I do sell, um, like was my flour, my sweet potato pie mix, that sold amazingly. So much support. So many customers on that. And um, excuse me. So I am getting the flour back. Um, uh, tell us I can't get TikTok. Why? 
Uh, I am the flower will be coming back hopefully the first of the um the first of January. I actually just did a Walmart order today so that I can experiment on the flower. Remember, I told you guys back when that um one reason why the flower was uh, two reasons why the flower wasn't here was that one I was in transition trying to move and that made it kind of hard trying to produce and sell and manufacture product. And then the second reason was that one of the ingredients that I use in my products to give you guys that amazing flower was that they changed their ingredients um they took they they changed their ingredient of their product so when they made the change to the ingredient of their product it is it, it subsequently um made a change to my product so what i have to do now is that i um I ordered some more seasoning, some more ingredients, actually today from Walmart. And tomorrow I said I was gonna sit down in my kitchen and try to um, you know, do the flour again and so I can enhance it, improve it even better. Because just just by that one company making a change with their product, it offset my product. And it's it's not and it's not the way it's supposed to be. And so and the company who made the change, they're not going back. They got bad reviews on the change. A lot of people don't like the product no more. They said a lot of negative things. Um, can you guys change it back? But I don't know their reason why they changed the product. And it's a lot lighter. It's not as strong as it was. Uh, it was first more darker. It was really flavorful. It was really bold. So, um, so what I'm doing now is that I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to do some, some, um, experiment. I'm about to experiment tomorrow. Um, as soon as my stuff comes, I think my stuff supposed to be here later on the day or early tomorrow morning. I think it's later on the day my, my grocery is supposed to come and I'm going to experiment on the flower so that I could try to get it back again the way it was or even better. So hopefully by, while I work on that. Um, I'm hopefully I can have it out by either the beginning of the year or the end of January, the beginning of February, but I am going to work on it. Um, cause I really want to get it back out because at the end of the day, it, it was a primary source too of income. You know, everybody got to have their different primary source of income. That was another primary source of income that worked really well for me. So I really, that's, so that's something that I really want to focus on and, um, and, and, and get back into then I have another project that I'm working on but um hopefully I have that project got by it's not a food project or anything like that I have another project that I'm working on and I'm um, hopefully I can have it out by beginning of February and um I'll, and I'll tell you guys more about it but yeah so I'm working on that and uh, working on, I got two things I'm working on. My new project that's not food related, but I think you guys will like it. And then um, trying to improve the flower, get it, you know, get it back to its old glory, if not better. And as Grandma Jackie Sue Taylor put me, it might make it the same. We just got to get up and running, get out the door. Somebody said, yeah, I seen that booth thunder. But other than that, what you guys got going on? Are you ready for the holiday? Are you ready for... Thank you, Stacy. Oh, yeah, you know what, Stacy? I, you know, I done gave myself to the Lord. And that's another thing, too, y'all. I recommitted myself, my soul, body, mind, spirit, and everything to God. Um, I, I, I joined a new church. I have a new church home, have a new church, new church family. And, um, um, and, um, I really been enjoy going to church via zoom. I've really been, yeah, because, um, the church I go to is via zoom. They, um, they in person, um, I think it's twice a month. Like it's in person this Sunday and, um, cause we having the Christmas thing and I go to Bible study every Wednesday. I've been re you know, learning the Bible all over again, learning different things and, you know, it's just having more faith in myself and Stop questioning me as a person and stop questioning God. You know, so I, um, it's, <laughs> I read my love life said, so that, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm working on myself. You know, sometimes we need to work on ourselves. You know, we need to work on ourselves. I'm not saying ourselves, we're that, you know, we're not doing what we're supposed to do for ourselves, but sometimes I need to work on ourselves. And I feel like I need to work on myself because I was a self confidence in me. 
You know what I'm saying? I have always been a very confident person, especially when I was younger. I I have always been, you know, believe if I didn't believe in anything, I used to believe in myself a whole lot. But situations and circumstances, and as I got older, you know, and, and really start stuff start hitting you hard and hitting you different. It's like I had I, I I kept showing lack of self esteem, or you know you know the depression stuff situation, or not believing in myself, or not believing in my goals or my achievements and stuff like that. And most and most importantly, stop trusting in God because. I was like, you know, if all this could happen, how can I trust in you? So, and at the day, I had to realize that it's not, it's not that I didn't trust, I didn't trust him. I just didn't believe that he believed in me, you know, anymore. So I'm just, oh, just like that. I'm just on a spiritual journey, y'all. That's all I just wanted to say. I know this ain't church and nobody coming for church. I ain't trying to convert nobody or convince nobody or anything. Your beliefs are your beliefs and, your, and, you, and you believe in whoever you want to believe in. But I'm just saying, this is what I've been doing. I'm just giving a quick update to all my accolades and journeys in between everything that I discovered and found out in my transition from, you know, from what I was doing to where I'm at now. So, and, and so I'm just letting like you guys know, I'm, I have an understanding or I'm getting an understanding of things of my life and, it's, and there's room for improvement, you know, and, and I'm not afraid to, you know, to say, yeah, I need to improve in this area. I need to improve in that area. So there's room for improvement and I'm not afraid to admit that. So I am solely, solely but shortly making changes that will benefit myself first what's up miss rita yes miss rue it is and, and i'm just gonna tell you it's the last thing i'm gonna say about church because i don't want to defend anybody and stuff like that i love my pastor this man is so down to earth he is so reverent and so spot on every Wednesday and every Sunday, I just feel like his sermon is direct to me. It's like it don't matter if if if, if, if what I got going on, what when he opens his mouth up to speak, he makes you feel every word that comes out his mouth, and it's so and, and, and it's so heartwarming and so believable, it's like do he know me? Is he talking to me? Did I call him last night and say I need to hear this? Because I remember calling him telling him I need to hear this, but yet he's delivering it. And I be like, okay. And I get it, and I get and I, you know, he asked me if you have testimonies and you get your testimonies in the service. It's just a beautiful thing. I'm just saying, I, I, I missed out on a lot, you know. And, and you know it, it is just a beautiful it is it's just a beautiful thing and right me right now something that i'm feeling but yeah other than that that's what i got going on you know which is not much or nothing you know it's like that miss Lu miss lucy yes i'm fine super star how you doing i am fine how you doing today yes so yeah, so that's it all. But I know I owe y'all a movie trivia and things like that. I know I owe y'all movie trivia. Y'all know y'all gonna get y'all movie trivia. I was thinking about um, I went for Jackson to come out the bathroom to see my red and black folder. Hey Andrew, have that red and black folder right there. Hey y'all. Um, I was um. Cause I was like, cause I really ain't had much to talk about. And if y'all was in the mood, y'all want to do a little bit of black movie trivia. I know this is on the couch and it's not titled um, black movie trivia, but since I told you guys, I have been wrote everything. Please say hi to Andrew and your boys. Andrew, everybody say, Andrew just walked through the door. <laughs> Andrew, everybody say hi. He said, hello. <laughs> And like I told you guys, wait a minute, before I get you excited, let me make sure it's in the red and black bag. Because when I finally did my final pack up, what's up, Donetta? I was like, oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, okay. It's called Victoria Chapel. Oh, okay. Um, let me make sure I really did pack it because I was like, I'm not losing this because we find a whole bunch of um, black movies. Me and my, my sons even helped me with this one. And I said, let me make sure I pack my stuff up because I'm not going to lose it. And I stuck out, see? Mm. And I thought I stuck it in my red folder. Huh? I'm gonna lie. Oh. Oh, come on. So I can put him on it? Okay. So y'all, y'all always been asking about um baby Ryan. And baby Ryan just walked through the door. Hey, baby Ryan. Say hi, he might start crying. Cause baby Ryan don't tend to like grandma so much since she moved. And I really ain't been seeing him. Baby Ryan, this Andrew baby, y'all. See, I told you, he gonna start crying. He'll be like grandma tomorrow. Grandma, he ain't seen grandma so in such a long time. Say hi with your two ponytails sitting on top of your head. Mm. Say hi. Say hi, y'all. Y'all, this is baby Ryan, and he's 11 months old. He's gonna be one in January. Say hi. This Andrew baby. Y'all always ask about baby Ryan. He go baby Ryan. Say hi, but he look. He look around the corner for his mommy and daddy. That's what he's doing. He look around the corner for his mommy and daddy. Mommy in the kitchen. He look like he just woke up. He look. He looking for. His, he like where by go? Where by go? Y'all, y'all know what? I don't think I got the movie trivia in here. I thought I packed it up. Look like I ain't packed it up. Look like I'm going to have to rewrite it. Because I knew I packed it up. Because I said I wanted to keep it. Oh, And I do not know nothing off the top of my head. That's why I write them, roll them down. And no, I do not got it. I just knew I had it. That's okay. I'm going to get y'all. I'm looking in my bag, y'all. Excuse me. So far. Oh, you and your mommy matching. Both of y'all got an army fatigue. Say hi. Say hi. Do like this. Ryan. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, I know he look like he just woke up. Say hi. Say hi, baby. Look at me. I'm loving it, Denise. It's all good. I'm loving it. So I don't have my movie trivia. And I thought I had it, guys. I really did. This is one of the reasons why I told my son. I said, go to Brandon House, get my red and black bag. Because I got to get my movie trivia out of it. I don't believe my baby not crying. You know, when a baby don't see you in a long time, they don't know you. They don't know you. Do they, boo-boo? I think he about to get his ball. You about to get your baba? Mm-hmm. You about to get your baba? Yeah. Ah, she ain't going to come on camera. <laughs> they said, tell Andrew's wife to come on camera. <laughs> Say, mommy ain't gonna come on camera, is she? Is she? Yes. Yes. No, we're, no, we're pretty good. Oh, no, they just visiting. We need a house for everybody. Hmm. Like a five-bedroom house. Say, right. Say, we need like a five-bedroom house. Don't we, boo-boo? Yeah. But, yeah, I want to do movie tree with you guys. But, I don't know. Where's it at? A oh, nigga, he ready for that ball. Mm -hmm. He not hold his ball. And this is the best part about it. Uh-uh. Grandma not holding that ball. You, uh-uh. Oh, he done took the hands away. He want me to feed him now, y'all. And he know he not to hold his ball. He know he not to hold his ball. Yeah. 
He just, he just automatically just took it. He just automatically took his hands away. Uh, yeah, James. Which um, New Life Journey still single? I'm saying yeah, cause I ain't met nobody she was messing with. But I be here in the background. She got something. Yes, I do tell her. And I got some messed up glasses, girl. I got some real messed up glasses. Um, these glasses I got, they not even working. They not even working. You ain't gonna hold your bottle? No, he ain't in the, he ain't in the mood. Yes, Stacey, when we get off the live, I'm gonna go, you don't want your bottle? I'm gonna go and do an Amazon wish list. Uh, the Amazon wish list. And um, I'm and I'm gonna put it in the comments. I was gonna do one. I just I was just taking my time and everything. Oh, you seen T? Yeah, Angel in the back. You seen T on Willow Road? Yeah, so you might have saw T on Willow Road. I don't even know, cause I know she be out there doing her thing with her riding. Her, her ride thing she do. I don't know if she do lift or um lift or y'all yeah, might see it because the way I got the camera, she went back there to get Andrew. She gotta walk back this way. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Denise. What I'm cooking for Christmas? Oh uh, yeah, the love connection, right? Uh, what I'm cooking for Christmas is lasagna, salad, lasagna, salad, um, you know, garlic bread, and uh, oh, she weighed that y'all. Oh, you weighed that down, Raisha. They said you weighed that down. You weighed it down. No, I ain't see you weigh, girl. I don't see that. <laughs> um, and I'm making a turkey. So I'm making lasagna, salad, garlic bread. I'm making a turkey because my turkey I had at, at, at Thanksgiving was so small. And y'all, that turkey was so good. And they demolished that turkey. I couldn't even make any turkey soup. My mother's famous turkey soup afterwards. So and I'm so I'm making a whole, I'm making a turkey, but I'm getting a big turkey. And I'm doing yams, macaroni, and string beans. That's it. So we have a lasagna, garlic brick salad, turkey, yams, macaroni, cheese, and string beans. And that's just, um, yes, yeah, so I'm doing a fully loaded lasagna. I'm putting in some, um, some ground beef. I'm putting in some, um, pepperonis and I'm putting in some, um, sausage. Oh God, why I say sausage? I'm putting in some sausage. <laughs> He said, I'm still craving it. That food was so good. You had my food? Well, oh, that food look good. But yeah, but I'm coming up for a plate. No, Thanksgiving food don't last past three days. If anybody still eat Thanksgiving food, either they froze it and they freeze it and then they defrosting it or something wrong with you. Thanksgiving, <laughs> Thanksgiving food is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's it. Oh, Stacy said we're having lasagna for Christmas too. Yeah, I haven't made lasagna in such a long time. Yes, Jane said, "Can I get a plate?" Somebody said, "Yes, the Italian sausage is very good." Yeah, I'll mix some um, burger and Italian sausage and some pepperonis. It's gonna be a good lasagna. Very cheese, cheesy. You got the ricotta. You know, you do a little ricotta and eggs and. Um, 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 mixture, Parmesan mixture and stuff, and layer it. Hey, Emma. Hey, DC Kool-Aid production. Hey, Miss Wig. Why do you keep saying we're Andrew White <laughs> <laughs> you about, we're Andrew White You know why I said pepperonis? Because y'all know my guy, T.Y., Y'all know um, T.Y. who cooked. He had made me and my mom. He had made me and my mom a lasagna and had brought it to my house. And when I tell you, y'all know T.Y. is a cook. 
I don't eat everybody food. My mama, may she rest in peace, she was fig a fickle eater. My mama would talk about you if your food ain't good, and she would talk about you in your face, and she would do like this on the slide. That shit nasty. That was my mother, okay? And when it came to T.Y., my mama ate everything T.Y. cooked. From his macaroni to he brought us some jerk chicken one time. And then he brought us some lasagna. And my kids and everybody kind of made me mad. Because everybody was like, ooh, this lasagna tastes good. Ooh, this lasagna tastes good. I had a little frown on my face. But y'all mean that lasagna tastes good. But no, that lasagna was good as shit. <laughs> and he had pepperonis in it. And I keep saying, I'm going to make mine that way. And I haven't done it yet. So I think for Christmas, that's why I said I'm going to add the pepperonis in it. And you know, one thing I love about cooking and food is that, um, hey, get it. One thing I love about cooking is food is that people, like, again, I always say this, people can lay down a platform and give you a recipe. And you can always take that, um, take that blueprint and you can elevate it. You know, you can add something or do something different to make it, you know, to tweak it and to make it your own. So that's what I love about recipes. You want this? You want your bottle? Okay. So that's why I love about recipes, and so that's why I say, even though I'm gonna add the turkey, add in the um the Italian sausages, I'm gonna throw a fluffy little put pepperonis up in there. Yeah, so that's all. I I'm not, I I don't want to cook a lot for Christmas. Yeah, I will. How the pepperoni lady? I will tell her. Uh, but actually, I see. I need. I asked Jackson. I said Jackson. Do your um Jackson have a tablet? And I asked him, can I download TikTok or something on his tablet? Because what I was trying to do is that on Christmas Eve when I was cooking, I was gonna try to go live on TikTok and go live on YouTube. But I need more than one device. So um Jackson told me that I could log in on um TikTok on his tablet. But I'm gonna try it out way before Christmas just to make sure. No, James, ain't nobody selling food stamps. He 11 months old, Monique. <laughs> Jay said, anybody sell a food stamp? I use ricotta. I never used cottage cheese before. He is, Stacy. James, don't worry. Plenty of us in this chat, including myself, has asked that question so many times. But I ain't gonna lie. It sound bad. If y'all say this, they're going to be like, Miss T, why you say this? But times are changing. I remember back in the day, you could be in a grocery store and people walk up on you talking about, you trying to buy some food stamps? You trying to buy some food stamps? And man, they don't do that no more. I think everybody went to rehab. <laughs> I think everybody went to rehab, and which is a good thing, man. Say no to drugs. Well, I remember back in the day, in the early 90s, honey, the thing, you bet, you bet when you went to grocery store with money, please have some extra money because I'm telling you, leave out that store, at least one or two people coming up to you on that type of program because <laughs> I remember the day. <laughs> oh, man, that's, a, that's not funny, but yeah. Yeah, I got three. No, four, three. Yeah, four. Hey, Yvonne. Thank you. That is so true. Don't look. You know, that's why my food channel only do two food videos a week. Even though, you know, it'd be like, well, don't you got to cook every day? In reality, don't nobody cook every day. Nobody, nobody that we know on um, Low Life. In reality, don't nobody cook every day. But when you got these food channels and you try and post and post every day, it gets very expensive. That's why I just took my food channel down to two food, two, um, two videos a week. Because at least I know out that seven day, out that out them seven days, I may cook a home cooked meal at least twice a week. And everything else, everybody be free balling. I mean, you may get some fried hot dogs, you may get a bologna sandwich, you may eat some oodles and noodles, you know. Stuff like that, you know, to, to the day come, oh, this is the day that mom going to cook. So, yeah, we're going to get a good meal. So, yeah, 
And so that's how I cut down expenses on my food video. It's just like just cooking two meals twice a week. And then maybe occasionally when I don't cook a meal, maybe throw in a dessert or something like that. But yeah. I know because everybody food's not lasting. Is that I'd definitely be free balling. Somebody said I cook once a week. There ain't nothing wrong with Jane's supply form. It is, Yvonne. It is very. That's why I'm trying to indulge in these. Um, my church is a parent. Y'all just need to come to church. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, all churches have pantries and stuff. I think not all of them, but some of them. And they got a lot of food places. My only thing is that I never, and this is going to be honest, uh, I don't I don't down food pantries because they help a lot of people. Uh, I have experience going to food pantries, and they've never been my cup of tea. And I say that because, you know, life is different when you got your own money and you go shopping and you get to buy the type of foods and stuff you that you want and everything. And it is a blessing that the pantries are out there because some people do benefit from, you know, like I said, I've been to a pantry once or twice when raising my children and my mom been. But I, I, I never was very happy about it because I never felt satisfied. Cause because at the end of the day, when I was thinking about food pantries, you always get canned goods. I never went to a food pantry where they give you a meat or something to go with the canned goods that you get. So when you go to the food pantries, they were only giving you like a whole bunch of canned goods and which was like, okay, I got canned goods, but what's going with the canned goods? I never, you know, and I just felt like if I ever Percy could ever open up a nonprofit and feed the people and give away food. I, and I know meats are expensive. It should be something. It should be something that we could accommodate is um, giving some type of like a ten dollar um, gift card to go get a pack of chicken to go with the can. No, I didn't say nothing was wrong. See, I said my experience with food pantry and how I really don't enjoy going to them and how I feel personally as far as like they wasn't satisfying for me. Now, other people go in there, get all the canned goods in the world and then and go ahead and do what they need to do. I just wasn't that person. Look, my phone turned around to my TV. They call me booty, but I hate canned vegetables. Yeah, and like I said, it helped food pantries help out millions and millions of people. I just said, if I ever get one, I will hope that I would love to incorporate some type of um meat, you know, to it. Because I think that would elevate it. You know, but I haven't been to food pantry in years, so at the end of the day. They may have upgraded them to do things like that. I plan to get a turkey when they come on and say, yeah. Oh, see, like I said, thank you. Um, who said that? B.A. Because like I said, I it's been so many years. My family is grown now. I've been fortunate enough not have to, you know, do that. But when I was raising my boys and doing it by myself, yes, I I, I stood in those food pantry lines um, when the food stamps ran out because they don't last all long. Hey, Miss Harris, they didn't last all month. So you had to get help or get a helping hand. I grew up um, with my mom on what they used to call back in the day, welfare cheese, that canned pork, and um, powdered eggs, and powdered milk, and canned milk and stuff, and, and that corned beef. I grew up on that. My mom used to go to the um, to the neighborhood clinic once a month. You, you got an appointment at the neighborhood clinic, and you go pick up your apple juice and your grape juice and uh, farina. They used to call it Farina. I grew up on that. But my mama, she, you know, she knew how to do what she had to do. You know, so, yeah. Y'all remember the powder eggs and the powder milk and the Farina and the apple juice and the welfare cheese made the best macaroni in the world. Somebody said that welfare cheese didn't melt. <laughs> That made, that, they go about, that made grilled cheese. It made macaroni cheese. I don't know how I did milk, but my mother made that milk. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy, for promoting the thumbs up, girl. Yes. Y'all, I'm still surprised on how I don't have my, um, how I don't have my stuff in my bag. I am so surprised behind that. I got to packing up so much stuff. 
I thought I packed it. Let me look in this other bag. I, I got the packing of so much stuff. I thought I packed it. I'm looking at this other bag, y'all. Because I probably don't know where I packed it up at. No, it's not in here either. So I'm most definitely going to have to start over. I got stuff everywhere on this bed anyway. But I'm going to tell y'all a good movie to look at. Yeah, it was good, but it was confusing. Yes. Yes, it was called that. Ka <clears throat> That's what it was called. We used to get that. That commodity. Yeah, we used to get that. My mother used to go. Mother had her every month. They give you a date and you come with your cart and get your commodity foods. And that helped out a lot of senior citizens. A lot of senior citizens. But let me see. Well, before I got on here with y'all. <clears throat> they say, say, I believe the Lord told me to tell Sober T that she sh should come back to church. Mm. And that's what we doing. Yeah, that barbecue meat, yes. In the can, yep. Yep. Just get all that. Yep. I don't know if they still sell it. I don't know if they still do. I remember it because I live in Washington, D.C. The commodity foods used to be at our health clinics. So we got like health clinics. You, our health clinics are called Unity Health Clinic and they're under DC government. And our commodity foods would be under health clinics. Yeah, that shredded beef in the can. And it used to be chicken and pork and beef. And used to have the corned beef in the can. I remember all that stuff. <clears throat> Tell. I keep ignoring sober tea. Let me see. He said, sober tea, you keep ignoring what I am saying. This is what the Lord is telling me. And Luther, I'm not ignoring you because if you, I don't know if you've been in here from the beginning. So as well, can y'all tell Luther what I talk about? Honey, I've been back there. I've been doing it. I've been back there. I've been back there. We talked, I already been there, talked about that, how I believe I'm, 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 I'm following my faith again, how I got a new church that I go to every Wednesday and Sunday, Wednesday Bible study, Sunday services. I think I've been talked about that. I think you're just joining. But thank you for the message because it is received and I already done it. Huh? What? I don't know why. I'm working. I ain't been to work and I don't know how long. I'm on here. I got to work. This is my job. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. So, uh, And I didn't want to overpower my soul squad, but people that were here, they heard me. And, you know, and if I was able to uplift anyone to make a decision to, to go that route, you know, amen. It was, it was, it was meant to be. But, yeah. So, oh, they already saw my Walmart shopping. Uh -huh. Hey, greeting from the Philippines. Hi, how you doing, Melody? How you doing, honey? How you doing? So, I'm going to give you guys some good movies to watch because... Yes, thank you, Luther. Thank you, baby. And thank you for looking out, you know. Thank you for looking out. Hey, Cindy. And thank you for looking out. Shoo. Um, what else should I say? Y'all, did anybody check out um, that Eddie Murphy movie on Prime called Candy Cane Lane? And I know it's Christmas. And you want to say good things about Christmas. I'm not going to say the movie was bad. But I'm not going to say it was great either. Oh, that's good. That's my boo. I know she was live over there cooking some chicken, James. I'm not going to say it was great. It's a slow and steady watch. It, it, it's like, I felt like it wasn't like, I don't know. I felt like it wasn't like, 
Mm, whatever. But uh, it was corny. Yeah, Bill, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Because I really, I thought maybe, I felt like it needed something else. That at one point, I felt like I heard Norbit in there. His character, the, you know, he played uh, Rathbusha. Um, I felt like I heard that voice in there when he was talking to him. It's just like, I really wasn't really feeling it. Uh, Chef said it was a good. I, I didn't say it was a good movie. It was an okay movie. Now y'all know he um he's coming back with um what's what's, what's the name of this movie um Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, the world behind that thing blew me. Beverly Hills Cop has come back with Eddie Murphy. I think it's coming back this summer. The Netflix only now. Yeah, y'all want to talk about that? The leave the world behind with Julia Robinson. Me and my sons watched that at like two o'clock in the morning. We up looking at this whole movie. First of all, let's just say what it was. Julia Rob Julia Roberts, she played a Kern. She played a Karen. I'm not going to lie, she played a Karen. And, and when the movie came on, she seemed to be a little bit okay. But when the black man and his daughter showed up at the house, I just, it just, oh my God. I said, not Julia Roberts playing a Karen. Ain't she playing it so well? And then my cousin told me, she was like, well, you know why she played a current? I said, why? Because it's naturally who they are. They have to train themselves not to be like that. I said, no, I don't believe that. I said, but, I said, if I didn't think this was acting, I would believe she was a real current in real life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she was mean, but eventually, she, yeah, she most definitely played her part, did she, Tom TV? But eventually, she did turn around to the point, I go heard a man's about to get down in the library over the music. I was like, no, you got a husband outside. And, and I'm going to tell you what my son said. My son said, well, shit, she in there trying to get with the father. The father out there trying to get with the daughter. <laughs> I said, I don't think the father out there trying to get the daughter. The daughter asked that question, has he ever slept with any of his students? She was just very bold and blunt about things. Um, His daughter, uh, you know what I'm saying? That brown liquor do it every time. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I was like, for the foremost, the acting was incredible because, like I said, Julia Roberts really had me. She 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 really played her role well. They, they said, we need you to be a Karen, and she delivered that because she had me and my feelings. Because I, I, I was looking at my pretty girl, you know, my pretty woman. I was like, come on now. You got me looking at you like this could be you in real life. But then I thought about her gorgeous. I'm going to tell you, Julia Roberts has the most gorgeous smile in Hollywood. I have always said that. I will always live by that. She has the most gorgeous smile in Hollywood. And um, and she just one of my favorite actresses. But the movie was just crazy. Do I recommend to watch movie? Yes, I do recommend to watch movie because there's always something subliminable in these type of movies that possibly could be going on in real life one day. You just don't never know. It was an interesting and slow watch. I did not like the way it end. I will say if we do, we done the, I'll give it like a three, three and a half. It is watchable. And yes, I could see a part two to it too. So if you haven't seen it, um, I would suggest you guys go look at it. Like I said, everybody's going to say, did the black dad make it back to his daughter? And did the son stay alive? Um, did he make it back to his daughter? Wait, ended with, um, we don't know. Because that's how they ended it. Like I said, I didn't like the way it ended. Ended with her and Julia Roberts, you know, holding hands in the woods, looking off into the city skylights, and well, look like like fire or, or smoke and stuff. And then it ended with um them in the car 
Uh, you know, Kevin Bacon did good too. You know, I love me good. I love me Kevin Bacon. So in reality, we don't know if they made it back to each other or you know what would happen. It could most definitely need a second part to it because it, it leaves questions and it leaves you hanging, but you also gotta understand what's going on. It was like a hacking situation that we done fucked over so many people other countries that all these countries came together and said we about to get usa and the way to get them and the way to ski them said we take their technology we take their technology from them we breaking everything down there's no internet no wi-fi no electric we came to depend on this stuff so much in our everyday lives that if we lose it the whole system that we created is just collapsing you know what i'm saying and um and, and that's that's what i got from the story did y'all see the Teslas? How they, uh, the Teslas run on their own. Did y'all see that? Yeah, it started out good. Then the end was like, and when the words went up, me and my children, we looked at each other was like, that's it? That's it? And the little girl, yeah. She was distracted. If it wasn't friends, and I thought that was kind of crazy because may Matthew Perry, may he rest in peace, that that played a part in that movie. And I know we was already made before he passed, before his passing, but it's just it's just how simultaneously how it all went together. You know, you know, he passed a couple of weeks ago. Then this movie come out, and she was addicted to friends and all this other stuff and everything, and it was like. The little girl, she, why did she, she, they thought she ran away. And I was like, that's why I don't like little kids, man. They always doing stuff. They out looking for her. They're safe. In the house, eating cereal, eating peanut butter. They found the bomb shelter and all this other stuff. The, the, the TV, I mean, they did not tell you to go get your people. It's something going on. You done found an empty house with all this amazing stuff that's clearly set up with all the electronics and, 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 and satellite stuff and everything. Where'd she go? To the DVD play and watch Friends and sit there with them blue eyes and like, oh, I see him making that face. You see him turn his lip up. He turned his lip up like, <laughs> Yes, it was crazy. It was, he laughing. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, he is doing a little bit too much. I'm ignoring him. And I thought, and I kind of feel like that name is very familiar because this is someone that I often see in the live. So I feel like he is a Soul Squad member, but I don't know why he's being distracted right now. Or either his page could have got hacked. It may not be him. There's so many variables to this. Um, but yeah, if um as moderators, do what y'all do. I'm not offended whatsoever. Yeah. 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 And so that was a um it was an interesting watch. I say if you want to watch it, it it'll be really gonna make you mad at the end. Like I just got this whole movie for this. But I'm gonna tell you something else that's old. They came out in 2013, and me and my son's been watching. Uh, we've been watching. Uh, uh, we playing telephone with the Lord. Yeah, we've been watching um, Under the Dome. If you got Paramount Plus, I don't know why Under the Dome stopped, but it got three seasons. And I, I remember the show, but I didn't remember, you know, ever looking at it through or watching it. I remember watching like a couple of episodes the first season, but they ended up having three seasons. And I was captivated. If you want a good, huh? Uh, if you want a good, um, a good series to watch that is old, if you got Paramount Plus, um, Under the Dome was really, really interesting. It was a good movie and a good um series that I think you guys might like watching. He don't know where he wants you to come or go. Say hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like that? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> you happy now? You better than you woke up and you ate your bottle, drunk your bottle. Mm -hmm. Ask me your father like this. Eskimo kiss. You know how I do Eskimo kiss? With the nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he like that. <laughs> All right, there you go. Go to daddy. You trying to leave? <laughs> oh, he look like Andrew and Jackson. <laughs> he just a laughing. <laughs> mm. Hey, Miss Bullock, how you doing, baby? How you doing? Yeah, so Under Dome is a good movie, a good series to watch if you guys want to watch something. That's that's really good to watch. Y'all, this Walmart, this Walmart keeps sending me things. Then they did about 50 substitutes so far on my orders, and I ain't clicked on nothing because I'm on the I'm on the couch. That's one thing about this. Um, hey, Miss Um J Poo, about Walmart lately, nobody seemed to have anything in these stores lately. Everything's just a substitute. Then it'd be a bad substitute, and then or they just don't bring at all. I'm like, and I didn't do a very big list. I think I got like less than 20 items. I'm like, and since I've been sitting here, it's like not unavailable, unavailable, substitute, unavailable. I am so curious what my grocery list is going to look like when I get off this live. It says, so sorry, we had a substitute so many times to make changes to your Walmart order. Update your order has substituted. Child, what's the change? Look, all this stuff coming in. I am so afraid of what my, because <laughs> I'm going to tell you, some of these people who do grocery shopping for you need to be trained on what the substitute and how to substitute and what makes sense in the substitute. Oh, they said uh, President Obama um, produced it. Oh, wow. So that's, that's, that's good to know. And so, yeah. So I'm, I'm so afraid of what my order going to look like when I get off this slide. I'm not going to take a peek at it. It's supposed to be here between four and five. But, um... They gone now. So yeah, I um I ain't been doing nothing. I've been looking at TV, been living life, getting things together, making a reconnection with the man upstairs, and just you know moving, move, move slowly in my journey. And just been watching a lot of television in between it, you know. So yeah, um, and then another movie, another show. I looked at Genie. Um, Melissa McCarthy, you know, that's my girl. She's very funny. Anything she plays, in, you know, she bring her wits with her. And Melissa McCarthy got this show, this movie called Genie, and I think it's on Peacock. It was good, but I think the things that I would have wished for, the main character didn't and stuff. He let all his wishes go to waste. It just didn't make sense in reality for what it was. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they just throwing these. Um, you enjoyed that movie? Yeah. I don't know if they just throwing these movies out because, honey, we found ourselves screaming at the screen um, with, um, with M Melissa McCarthy movie, Jeannie. But I do like at the end that he let her be free and she got with the door, she got with the, um, the doorman and they opened up their own little restaurant and stuff. But it was, it was, a, I think if I do that, I'm gonna give it a four star. It was funny in some areas. Yes, it was. I, I, I say I'll give it a four star. I recommend the watch, but, um, yeah, I really haven't seen no really good Christmas movies yet. Hey, Miss Burry. Thank you. Hey, Evelyn Jones. What's up? How, I'm still waiting on some good stuff to, um, um, some good Christmas movies to drop so far. Oh, the one with Ludacris. And what's his name? The funny comedian guy. I forgot his name, Little Fat Man. Yes, I do. I'm familiar with this area that I'm in. So I like it. I lived in this area before. Um, but not as far down where I'm at now. I never really been in the area that I'm at now, but the city that I'm in, I lived in the city, I lived in the city in Merlin before, but not as far down where I'm at. Cause me and my sister, my sister was talking about that. We're 30 minutes away from each other. I watch Naked Attraction series. I'll get that. That's on Netflix. Hey, Mr. Weaver, how you doing? How you doing, Mr. Weaver? We were just talking about Candy Lamb, Miss Pooh, how it was okay. It felt like it was missing a little bit of something, and I gave it a three and a half stars. 
We just talked about that. When I cook up a dinner, I'm doing lasagna, turkey, mac, um, yams, um, garlic bread, salad, and, um, and string beans. Um, and, um, what I was talking about, y'all, y'all get, y'all get so lost. You haven't seen it yet? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Miss Jones. Thank you so much. Yeah, so it was, um, Jenny was good, but Ludacris, I can't think of his name. It's a dating show on Amazon Prime. Okay. Ludacris on Walt Disney. Luda has a good Christmas movie out. He don't believe in Christmas. It was so good. Hey, T.Y., I'll talk about you. That's good, Mr. Weave. I talk about your good old lasagna you made me. How that thing was so good with them pepperonis. It do. Oh, I'm sorry. What's for dinner tonight, y'all? I am actually frying chicken and french fries and cornbread. It's a hell of a combination, but I want it. And the reason why I'm doing the chicken, fries, and cornbread, I'm doing the cornbread because I got a new cornbread recipe that I want to try. I've been seeing a lot of people doing it, and I never did before. Have anybody heard of this? Putting sour cream in your cornbread. I never put sour cream in my cornbread before, and I figured since I had all the ingredients, I want to try it, and I really had nothing to do today. And then uh, I'll reach some fried chicken because I just told everyone I'm trying to uh, redo my seasoned flour, and I need something to practice on. So when the ingredients get here, I'm supposed to um, go in my kitchen I said, I'm going to the kitchen, sit down and mix up some seasonings and try to bring my seasoned flour back because we talked about how um, somebody said I had fish. Oh, okay. And salad. Um, how I talked about how one of the products that I use in my flour is no longer at the, the way it were, was. So I need to get my flour back together. And then just doing french fries is because I don't feel like cooking nothing else. I figure french fries would be easy to cook with some chicken and cornbread. So I got a bag. And I'm going to tell y'all, those bag of chicken legs at Walmart in the yellow bag, they only cost $5 and some chain. Somebody said, yes, it's good with sour cream in your cornbread. Okay. No, yes. Yes, I did, Bill. I like that. It was okay. Because I'm going to tell you, Bill, we jump all over the place. Bill, we're going to go back to Brandy's Christmas movie. I looked at it the first day it came out. So I think that's about two weeks ago or something. Um, and I, so that's the reason why I came up with that combination for Saturday night dinner. French fries, cornbread, and fried chicken. Chicken because I'm testing some new flour out. Cornbread because I'm testing out a new recipe. Never had sour cream in it before. Homemade cornbread. And then... French fries just because that's what I saw in the refrigerator. That I think that they gone. Oh, uh, did she get the window fixed on the car? Nah, she used her mom car. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, that's why I'm making that. Now let's go back to that brandy movie on Netflix, um, Bill. It was okay. But the part that's confused me that I didn't like as a I guess as a right, why was it she pretending that her baby was still alive? I understand that even when she gave her explanation for it at the end because she didn't want people to I guess to feel sorry for her or something like that. But that's pretty significant to loved ones. If you constantly send out a a, a yearly end of the year Christmas Christmas flyer with updates on your family, how you doing, your achievements and what's going on in the life. Why are you, and I understand that you're dealing with the death of a son, but I, I wouldn't be able to still implement him. It, that was so confusing to me. I, I, I don't know where the writers was going at with that. Because, I mean, that was something that I would want to share with the loved ones, with my family, that my baby is gone. I don't, I didn't, I, I, that was, yes, Bill, that was so confusing. I, 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 that's why I say it was an okay movie. You know, I'm glad to see her out there, you know, making her coins, you know, acting and, you know, doing something for Christmas. But it was just an okay movie because I felt like that part that the writers wrote in that movie, it was just kind of like, oh, okay, no. Even the explanation didn't make sense to me. Okay. 
but it was it was it was okay like i said i felt like some of these christmas movies are being rushed they're not being well written or they just trying to get something out for the holiday or something because like i said so far the best christmas movie I seen so far to me is the one on Disney with Ludacris. I'm sorry. I mean, I get him the top for him um, for the best Christmas movie so far. Um, like I said, Candy Cane Lane with uh, yes, that's why I said too. I enjoyed that the most. We me again another two o'clock in the morning because my sons get home late from work and we was in here we was looking at that and. We, they thought they was going to fall asleep, but we actually looking at the whole movie, and we actually ended up enjoying it. And I was like, this thing was really good. So, Luda, get it. he got that for me. That was really good on Walt Disney, y'all. What'd you say, Taylor? You should look at two before Christmas movie? Okay, I will. No, no Christmas tree, Miss Pooh, because I moved, because my journey to to move and to save money, I focus all my money, me and my sons pulled together, because they put it out there, it, it was like $3,800 to get in this apartment. Getting into an apartment these days on houses, they don't make it easy for you. And, um, you know, we pulled our resources and we saved and we got that $4,000 together. And so that's where our money went to. So I'm not, I am buying my grandchildren some presents, you know, but I'm not decorating. I, I feel so bad because my next door neighbor, they do decorate so pretty. And I said, oh, look at them all in the Christmas spirit. They front doors decorate so pretty. But I was like, I just don't have the funds and stuff to do all that right now. And, you know, so, I, so that's why I am cooking Christmas dinner. And I am buying all my grandchildren some presents. And there's no tree right now. No moving ain't cheap. But Lord willing, I'll be here next year. It's be a different story because we settled. We gave it a three and a half star, honey, moon. Hey, Victoria Ransom. How you doing, girl? I gave it a three and a half stars. There's really no good Christmas movies out here yet to me. But what I am disappointed at, Netflix always making me mad. And I don't know if we got any Bridgerton fans on here. But I am a Bridgerton fan. And we are now looking at like May and June for Bridgerton to come out. And then, hey, amaze me. And then they're going to put it in a two parts. They're going to put it in two parts. And uh, it, it's crazy. What it makes me say? Yes. And they did the most parts, too. Uh, what I'm going to put on my wish list, um, I, I'll tell you, tell it one minute when I can finish talking about Netflix. Um, they made me mad with Bridgerton because the post came, we waited all year. Well, I know I waited and kept waiting and kept waiting and then they said it was coming out in december december that came and it's nothing here now we're getting news that it's not coming out until may and then they're saying that it's going to be in two parts part one part two so that means we should be getting more than 10 episodes or something i i don't know but i'm here for it i might even have a bridgerton party or something i don't know when you get those costumes from i really i love bridgerton that's my show and i was ready for it but now i now I'm, I'm ready to do like oh you got chipotle we about to do a can i don't smell i don't like chipotle um we, um we about to do a countdown on it now somebody just asked me tell her what i'm putting on my wish list um nothing expensive it's the holidays. I know people are doing stuff. But um, just the simple things I need. I need a lot of kitchen stuff. Um, like I told someone earlier, I told everybody earlier how my um I lost all my 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 cookware due to rain and mold and where I had my my bakeware is fine, but I lost all my cookware, my Dutch oven um pots, because I and my um um, iron, my two iron skillets and all that stuff. What's up, Yolanda? How you doing? So I need a lot of, um, a lot of kitchen stuff, a lot of cookware, um, some pots, some pans. Really, I don't even want cookware. I don't need a lot of cookware because I did my two big um thing. Yeah, I need an air fryer. I don't have no air fryer no more. 
Um, that's one thing I don't have is air fryer because the apartment came with a microwave, so I don't need a microwave. Um, I finally, after two years, I finally unboxed my Instant Pot. My cousin gave me an Instant Pot two Christmas ago, and I never opened it. Now the Instant Pot is finally open. Brand new, beautiful burgundy and black Instant Pot sitting over on my counter. I got two um, cake mixers. I got a red KitchenAid. I got a brown mixer. Um, I want. I need a deep fryer. So the only two things I'm looking for that I don't have is an air fryer, a deep fryer. But everything else is just like maybe some washcloths, some towels. Um, I already picked out my decor that I want to go to Team U because Team U has a lot of stuff. And I picked out a whole bunch of decor that I want to put on my walls. And I did that on Team U. And I think they came to like $64 or something. So I got that sitting in my, um, I got that sitting in my, um, shopping cart on team you uh, for the little things that i want to get on my wall and stuff um but basically maybe just like like i said um i use we use paper plates we're not dishes people i don't believe in washing dishes and i got to the point where that i can't stand washing dishes i will buy plates and paper plates paper cups only thing i need dishes for is like when i do a presentation on the food i used to go to a dollar store um, some people like the clothes at Team U. I don't like the fabric that the clothes and put off at Team U. But I, I, you know, I don't like the fabric that the clothes and put off. Um, so we don't use a lot of, um, I buy plastic stuff. How long the towels last? Um, for a minute. But man, so that's what I'm going to put on the um, wish list. Just like some towels and washcloths, shower curtains, um, maybe one set of dishes, and maybe an air fryer and a, a, a deep fryer. That's it. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be long. It's not long. It's not expensive. And it's not a lot. Because I had nobody spend nothing that I wouldn't spend on myself. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit, you don't have to say this. Read the reviews that they buy. But what I have found out about Team U when ordering their clothes, some of their clothes, and I and I only can speak from a plus size perspective because I'm ordering, I'm ordering like a 20. For one, I'm gonna say that with Team U, um, y'all yeah, know that these clothes and stuff is coming from overseas. For one, um, have the clothes, they're not true to size. And the reason I say that because of 4X. It's not a size 20 in the United States. And Team U, they do, they deem, they deem a size 20 a 4X, which is not reality. I'm a plus size person. I shop plus size clothes. I shop at places like um like um Land Bryan, Ashley Stewart, um, places like um Tour Red and um and, and stuff like that. Those um those are not a size 20 a size 20 is a size 20 it's not a, um it's not a 4x and so but the reasons they get away with that because of the material of the clothing that they make the material of the clothes that they make is that it's almost like that grandma nylon type stuff when you get i don't i don't really enjoy the material of their clothes so and so that material is really kind of like stretchy so they can list day 20 as a full x because the way the material stretches and it moves and they use it's like an old that old-fashioned grandma you remember the grandmas in the 70s when they wore the slacks and and, and the jacket yes miss berry and they wore the jackets with no sleeves to them. And had a had the long sleeves and a bow tie shirt. Those type materials, um, I don't like that material too much. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, so yeah. Um Yeah, you really gotta look at this size chart. Oh, you did? That's good. Um, that's good. That's good. I donate a lot of stuff. Uh, but I plan on too because like I told my sons, I plan on hit the goodwill, honey. Cause I remember back in the day, I don't know, I, I love thrift store shopping. 
I um, thank you, Miss Barry. I love thrift store shopping. I love going to the Goodwills. And I remember back in the day when I used to get my apartments, um, I used to go and get towels and um, sheets and stuff from the Goodwill. And I used to take them home and wash them. And my favorite fabric softener and my favorite soap powder and bleach. And I wash that stuff up, fold them up, put it in my linen closet. And, you know, right now I'm working on a budget, trying to get the coins coming in through these videos and stuff. So I had said that I was going to hit the goodwill too. Yeah, Lane Bryant is expensive, but you got to catch them on a good day. These days, what's not expensive? I mean, we got our food is expensive, gas. Well, gas been going down. I think right now we had $2.99 in, this, in our area, and that's a bargain. You can't, um, you can't beat that. Um, but, you know, food, gas, clothing, shoes, everything. Yeah, and that's why I told my sons. I told my sons because, like, um, I told my son, um... I'm going to go wheel. I'm going to hit the Goodwill up. I used to do it in the day. And they, sometimes you can go to Goodwill and find stuff with tags on it. And even though you find stuff with tags on it, you know, you're still going to wash it. I always wash uh, everything I bring from the Goodwill. I always wash it, um, you know, because to get my own scent on it. You know, the things that I wash and all that stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to go there and give me some sheets, some towels, some everything um, and stuff. And some other things I'll be putting on my um, wish list is that. I need some um, dish rags. I was telling my son I was doing dishes. You saw the video that um, I did. Um, I like dish rags. Some people love sponges. Like my son Josh, when he go to Dollar Tree, he'll get a whole thing of sponges. Since I'm in between everything, I'm not really buying none. My son's been buying stuff. They buy cheap shit. The Dollar Tree is now in their home. And they since they were on, they've been on their own all these months. They love going to the Dollar Tree for soap, for um, toilet paper, paper towels, dish detergent. I seen them like they came, they came in the other day. Mom, look what we did. I said, what? We been to Dollar Tree. They came back with paper plates. <laughs> they came back with paper plates, forks, um, paper towels, some soap, laundry detergent. What else they had? Ajax. Ajax. You know, I accept everything that they do. Because, like I said, they really been stepping up since we've been doing what we've been doing. It like it wasn't for them. They paid the majority of this money to get me into this apartment. I was so appreciative to it. I mean, I did give us something, but they gave us the most of the money. Um, they've been buying everything, you know, because, you know, I can pay once a month. They've been buying everything. But when they walked through the door yesterday, no, not yesterday, two days ago, they were happy as shit. <laughs> I looked at their dollar stuff and they put it on the ground. Okay, so you bought, the, you know, at the Dollar Tree, <laughs> literally the Dollar Tree, everything 125 now, right? So you bought soap powder, but you bought, a, they sent about this tall. They had the ties there. They sell ties and gain the little $20, 25 cents soap powder. Hmm, dollar 25 cents. You bought about six of them. I think you bought about six of them. Okay, we could have got a little bit. Six of them, dollar twenty-five. Somebody get mad. Six times one twenty-five. Maybe for thirteen dollars with more change. We got a bigger soap pot at the other store. You got the two rolls of paper towels, paper plates. You got two in the pack for one twenty-five. They about this thing. <laughs> then they came in here with this age. Actually, I saw me using it in the video using the using the um. I need some dish detergent right now. I don't got no dish detergent. I told him, I said, I don't got no dish detergent. I said, I done used that little bit of Ajax all week on, wash dishes. I need to give me some dish detergent. I said, and I like Dawn. But when other people buying it, you know, you can't be doing that to people. So I accept their madness. But I told them, y'all got to get out this Dollar Tree phase. I said, when I get paid and go shopping, I'm going to show y'all how. Y'all know how I used to buy stuff. They, 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 man, they in this Dollar Tree fair. They come back with Irish Spring soap. And I told you guys, I do not like Irish Spring soap. I told you guys that once before. So they'll end up giving me a couple of bars of Caress. And, you know, with the Irish Spring, you don't got but two in the pack. And Caress is only one in the pack or two in the pack. They're $1.25 each. So they come back with, like, five packs of average springs that's two four six ten balls but by the time you paid that 125 for those 10 balls you could have went and got a big thing of, i don't know i just like y'all 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 mad and, and they but they 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 stuck at the dollar tree 
they stuck. They've been doing it for all these months. They like, they ain't, they scared to pay anything more. <laughs> but like I told them, I appreciate it. And I use everything. I use everything they bring to the door. But I be shaking my head, man. I be shaking my head. I said, I thought I told y'all better than this. But they, but it's the money to them. Money-wise, it looks more efficient to be ringing up that 125 <laughs> Yeah, oh yes. And that's the only thing, Miss Rita. Who's not Miss Rita? Miss um Miss Della, that I told him that that caress took me back to the old days. Cause I haven't used caress since um the early 2013, 2012 era. When me and my mom used to go shopping and we used to go to Family Dollar, not Dollar Tree, but Family Dollar, and caress to be oh, that's a love that caress. Yes, I like to buy book stuff. And um, I so that's the only thing they did. I said, y'all gave me nostalgia on this caress. So I've been liking the caress they've been buying for me. But yeah, and I just appreciate the help. You know, that's why I try to talk about their face. I just look at them shaking my head with all their dollar store shit right there. And they happy. They done done so. <laughs> It's all good. I ain't making <laughs> I was like, okay, well, guess what? Because y'all didn't go and buy Dollar Street toilet paper. Dollar Street toilet paper is not where it's that. I'm a Scots girl. But at the end of the day, if y'all went and went, y'all didn't go get y'all money. Y'all didn't buy it. I wouldn't have it because the sister is broke. And I can't buy nothing right now. So I'm using whatever they buy. And hey, this, if this, if, at the end of the day, it's they coins. And what they choose to buy at is on them. I just laugh at them. But like I told them today, I don't got no more dishes to turn. I'm supposed to do dishes. Because I said, that day gone. I said, that day gone Ajax, Dollar Tree Ajax, y'all bought in here. Then you only bought one. And it's small. And we, I've been washing dishes all week. I said, that thing gone. And then it don't make no sense. Y'all saw me doing that video. I have keep pulling, um. Um, so um, this words it don't make no sense. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. No, we not. I haven't seen it yet. Scott's make your ass itch. <laughs> angel soul. Like I had some angel soul. I bought some angel soul because I was on a budget the other day, and so I bought some angel soul. I don't like angel soul because angel soul stick to your ass. Angel sauce is all pilly and everything, and it sticks to you. We got to find some way to do it at. We got to find some way to do it at. That's the only thing. I, Because, you know, I wish I could have been there, bingo, but we can't. You know, since the pandemic is over, they really locked down on that bingo thing. Because at the end of the day, it's not legal. But since it was the pandemic... Everybody was locked in their house. People had no money. The government was funding them. They were okay with us planning. They were planning on all the platforms. They were planning on um, Facebook. They were planning on Instagram. I believe me and DC Kool Aid Lisa was the only ones planning on YouTube. I don't. I don't for the way that we were planning. You know, Lisa and them was doing it first, and I was planning with them. Hey, Susie Q, and then um. She, they showed me how to do it. I believe we were the only two YouTubers that was playing bingo in the version that we were playing in, on YouTube. But everybody else was doing it on Facebook and, um, and on um, Instagram. But now that the pandemic is over, you know, the government is back in charge with their rules and regulations, which you can't do this, you can't do that. Nobody literally plays it anymore, anywhere that I can think of. Nobody plays it anymore, anywhere. I, I don't think it's on Facebook anymore. It's most definitely not on Instagram. I don't think it's out there anymore. Thank you. So, yeah, I don't think they're doing it anymore. You think Shaman is too thick, level wow. Yeah, you know, I uh, when it comes to tissue, I've been using Scott my whole life. I only use generic brands of any other type of tissue when my funds get low and I grab what I grab and I may not like it. But my go-to toilet paper is Scott's. 
I have always, I have always been a scout user. And I think because I grew up on scouts, my mom did scouts. But it's certain things that I, I that I would stick to and don't like switching up. And you know, I, I, I was, when money get low, you know, you buy what you buy because you need it. But at, at the end of the day, when you got a preference and you're shopping, I'm sticking to scouts.